Genesis 1.25 says, God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And one of the most fun and entertaining joys in our lives is the fact that we get to observe animals. And when we look at all the diverse animals that God created, we're aware of his incredible creativity and maybe his sense of humor. They are kind of fun. There are many kinds of animals, but the majority of those that we're most familiar with are going to be vertebrates. And vertebrates have a backbone that encases a, a spinal cord that leads to their brain, makes them pretty intelligent creatures. And within those animals are a group of animals that give birth to live young and they feed their babies with milk. And those animals are called mammals because they produce milk with mammary glands. And this group of mammals is pretty diverse. That includes animals that can fly like a bat or climb like a monkey or nibble on you like a horse. <laughs> Um, some of them hunt, some of them swim, and a lot of them graze, like these creatures, these horses behind me. But one of the most popular groups of mammals is rodents, and these animals are classified by their teeth because they have teeth that keep growing throughout their lifetime. And so they have to be trimmed down, kind of like fingernails, and that way they don't keep on growing into their head, they have to be trimmed down. So they gnaw on things to kind of trim their teeth. And that's what gives them the name rodent, which means gnawing teeth. And I've got a, a horse behind me over here that likes to kick. They want attention, so we're going to take a peek at these guys. We're going to look at some of these other animals and the teeth that they have, because a lot of mammals are classified by their teeth, and their teeth give different purposes, mostly for the foods that they eat. So we're going to take a peek at some of these. We'll take a look at some of our ponies and see what their teeth look like. So I'm here with our little ponies, and this little one here is Katie, and that is Marshmallow. And the two of these little girls are going to demonstrate what the teeth look like on a horse or an equine animal. You can see as he pulls her, her mouth open, look at those teeth. She's like, no, nope, I think I'd rather have a treat instead of open my mouth for you. But they like to nibble. <laughs> see those teeth? If you got a good look, you can tell that they have these sharp teeth, kind of like your front teeth. They're meant for cutting grass, and that's a really important thing for horses. Look, now they get their treat. <laughs> good job, ladies. They also have molars in the back that grind the food up so that they can have grain and that kind of thing as well. And they're, um, they're classified by their teeth because they have top and bottom teeth. That's why you don't want to put your fingers in a horse's mouth because they could nibble and bite you a little bit. Um, but these guys, look how pretty they are. They're, they are a very interesting animal and they're also classified by their feet. These are ungulates, which means that they have a hoof. And these particular animals are a, um, a odd-toed ungulate, meaning they have one toe, which is what their whole hoof is. So let's look at some other teeth that we can find in some other animals. Another animal that we like are cats, of course, the feline uh, critters here. They have teeth that are specially designed for eating meat. So let's take a peek. This is one of our barn cats, and she's going to show us her teeth. She's not super happy about it, but take a look at those teeth. Wow, those fangs there are canine teeth, even though it's a feline. They have canine teeth that are meant for tearing and ripping apart the meat that they like to catch. She's a good barn cat. She catches all of our mice and she keeps all those rodents at bay. Good job, kitty. So another animal on the farm that we enjoy are our farm dogs. And this is Roscoe. He is a um, two-year-old beagle mix dog and he does a great job of keeping the rodents and stuff away, any invaders he lets us know. But he's had a long night of it, so he's pretty tired right now. But let's take a look at his teeth. Let's see if he'll let us take a look in his mouth. Those giant big teeth in there, those are his canines. And in the front, he's got these littler teeth. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna show us or not. He's got these front teeth there that are incisors, and those are meant for, um, for tearing the meat off of bones. 
um, they can cut things. And also they have the pre-molars and the molars in the back for grinding up the food. Um, one really interesting thing about all of these mammals is they have what we call milk teeth, which are their baby teeth, and then they have their adult teeth. So most mammals have two sets of teeth, where other animals are gonna have maybe several sets of teeth or they make teeth their whole entire life. But I have one more animal I want to show you that lives on the farm, and we're gonna take a peek at their teeth. But we have to go to the dairy farm to find them. So another animal, this would be our cow. This is a calf, she's a Jersey, and she's a sweet little baby. Um, how old is she, about? About three or four weeks old. And I wanted to take a peek inside of her mouth because cows are really different. Cows are ruminant animals. And so they, they actually chew on their cud. They bring it from their stomach back up to their mouth and chew on it for a while. And they, they go through a very different digestion process than what a lot of other mammals do. Well, let's take a peek inside her mouth. She'll let us notice that calves and cows alike, they have no top teeth. Oh, she's not gonna hold still very good. <laughs> she's like, wait, is it time to drink my milk? <laughs> Notice how she can stick her head way up like that? That's because they were meant to nurse from a mama whose teeth are way up high and so they can bend their neck fun. Look at those teeth! They have bottom teeth and no top teeth. And they don't even grow top teeth their whole life. They have something called a dental plate that they are able to slice that grass um, right onto the top of their mouth like a cutting board and a knife. So that's exactly what these guys are are created to do. Their food is mostly going to be grass and some grains, but they do have molars in the back that they can chew. Um, they can grind up the, the grain that they eat and they can grind up the grasses and the different forage foods that they eat. But these are all animals that we will talk about when we do our zoology class this semester. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun studying the animals that were created on the sixth day of creation. All of those animals are going to be the animals that crawl along the ground. So we're gonna study all the different types, mammals and many other kinds as well. But I hope you'll join us for a fun time of exploring all of these wonderful things in creation.